Hey y'all, it's Amanda. This is my YouTube channel for a different beat. Today we're going to actually be talking about what it means to find your beat, since that's kind of the catchphrase that I'm using, so I thought we'd talk about that a little bit. And then I'm going to be sharing what my personal beat is when it comes to smoothies, and I have three recipes for y'all. So if you haven't already, click the subscribe button below, and we'll get into it. So before we get started into the meat of this video, I wanted to mention I am a nutrition and wellness consultant. So what that means is that I can show how to incorporate healthy habits into your life, but I'm not a doctor. So if you are thinking of changing your habits in any way, always consult a doctor first. Um, I am vegetarian and also dairy free um, since I'm allergic to dairy. Uh, so the recipes that I do show are recipes that I do make for myself, but I am not promoting a vegetarian diet. Um, I'm showing what I make for myself and the whole point of a different beat is to be able to find your unique beat when it comes to meeting your nutrition needs. So that's actually something that we're going to be talking about in this video. So if stay tuned and we'll get into it. All right, so side note, this is the second time that I have been videoing this um, video for y'all. Um, the first time there was a lot of background traffic noise, um, which I'll show y'all a clip of that in just a minute. Um, so I'm glad that I'm able to redo this for y'all. Um, so let's get into it. Okay. We as human beings have the same nutrient needs. We have our needs for our macronutrients, which is our things like carbs, proteins, and fats, um, and then our micronutrients like vitamins and minerals. Um, but how we individually choose to take in those nutrients on a normal day-to-day -day basis, that is our own unique beat. Um, so let's look at just a few things to consider um, and kind of talk about what I mean by that. So healthy can mean something to one person and it means something completely different to another person. Um, and I wanted to uh, give you all a few examples of what I mean. So let's take corn for example. Corn is a whole grain and popcorn would be considered a whole grain. Um, so it's a really easy and delicious snack. Um, however, um, if somebody is allergic to corn like me, um, it wouldn't be a healthy snack and a different alternative would be better. Um, for instance, uh, with bananas, bananas are a healthy snack. They have a lot of potassium in them, so they're really great for muscle recovery. They're really easy to digest. Um, however, somebody that might be diabetic, depending on their sugar levels that day, it might not be a healthy option that day. Um, so you kind of understand where I'm coming from a little bit. Um, so the food industry really loves to pair a specific food with a specific nutrient. Um, and even though that some foods are good sources of certain nutrients, that doesn't mean that they don't have other things that they're good for. And that doesn't mean that that one food has that one nutrient. Um, so what matters more than just eating specific foods is making sure that you have a variety of foods in your diet. Um, and you know, are you getting enough fiber throughout the day? Those things are more important than um, you know, making sure that you had an avocado sometime today. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about bananas for a minute. We are not done talking about bananas. Um, so if you've been following me on Instagram or uh, know this about me, you know that I do not like bananas. Um, banana bread and banana pudding do have their place in my life, um, but um, I am not like my husband who can eat two bananas a day and does eat two bananas a day and could eat more. Okay, um, so because I dislike bananas, a lot of times people associate bananas with potassium and potassium with bananas. Bananas are the face of potassium. 
Um, however, they are not a food that is the highest in potassium. They are not the only food that has potassium in them. Um, actually, potatoes are even higher in potassium, as an example. Um, and since I have potatoes in my diet, there's no lack of potassium here. So just because you dislike a certain food doesn't mean that you might be lacking in a certain nutrient. Um, however, um, on the topic of dislikes, um, you can't just dislike an entire food group. Like you, you have to have a variety of foods in your diet and not exclude an, an entire food group out of the diet. Um, we need a variety in our diets for a certain reason. So for example, um, a lot of people say that they hate vegetables. Um, it, you can usually find a few vegetables that you enjoy. Um, so just because you, know, you, you don't need to be choking down Brussels sprouts if you could have had broccoli on the plate instead. You know? So don't dislike a whole food group, but find what you like within those food groups and eat them, have a variety. Um, always try something new. I'm always about trying something new and branching out, but um, but yeah, just make sure that you're having a variety in the things that you like um, because you will be more likely to eat those things. Likes. So, um, we do need to talk about this, so just because you might like a food doesn't mean that your body necessarily reacts to it the best way. Um, an example would be um, everybody's favorite thing um, that I've heard um, a lot that people realize that they don't do as well um, when they have it in their diet regularly is cheese. So a lot of people are allergic to dairy, so there is a factor, but there's also people that just realize that if they have a lot of cheese in their diet or they have it every day, um, they don't really function as best as they could. Um, so even though that you might really like a certain food, um, and it can be a part of your beat, it can still be a part of your diet, um, but depending on how much that you have of it, especially if your body isn't reacting to it in a good way, so if you're not sleeping well or you realize that you have more inflammation or aches and pains, things like that. Um, even though that you might really love a food, it doesn't mean that um, if your body doesn't like it that you have to completely exclude it out of your diet. It just might mean that you have to put it in its proper perspective um, and have it when it's worth it. You don't want to have it when it's not worth it and then you're in pain or you're just not functioning as best as you can. So eating the way that makes you function and um, you, know, you, you have the most energy throughout the day and maintaining that beat is really what we're talking about here. It's no doubt that finding your beat is a challenge. You know, we, we change when we get older. Um, we change even year to year sometimes. So it is important to always kind of pay attention to how things might be changing. Um, and it can be frustrating, but it's definitely worth it, especially when you're trying to work with your body um, because it's number one priority is to keep you alive. So it's always worth it to work with it. All right, so I wanted to share with y'all three smoothie recipes, but first I wanted to share um, a few things as to why these smoothies are part of my beat. So um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I am vegetarian, so the protein powder that I use is a vegetarian protein powder. You can use any protein powder that you, that you like and you use. Um, I don't like bananas, so bananas are not going to be in them, um, but I do really like thick smoothies. I don't like just um, like watery smoothies. I like thick smoothies, so they are going to be thicker. Um, however, usually when I have smoothies, um, I have to drink them a little bit slower, um, and I can't have them just be full of fruit. So um, when sugar hits my system, um, I there there is no high, I just crash. So um, having the protein in there, having some healthy fats, 
um, and then some vegetables and not just fruit in the blender. There, there is fruit in the recipes, um, but just having a mixture of all of that. And then I usually try to drink it a little bit slower and not just like chug it down like I can. So um, let's get into them. I've got three recipes ready for y'all. Okay y'all, so don't pay attention to my blender. We use our blender all the time and we like fully scrub it out once a week, but we just kind of rinse it off in between. So this is in the middle of the week. So anyway, you're gonna put frozen peaches and frozen blueberries into the blender. If you have fresh fruit, um, then I would just lessen the amount of liquid and um, add a few ice cubes to the recipe. Um, then we're gonna add some oats and almond extract. So you can substitute this out for vanilla extract, but I highly recommend using almond extract. Anytime that I use oats, I love using almond extract. So if you haven't used it before, try it out. And then I never skimp out on cinnamon, so we are putting a full teaspoon of cinnamon into this recipe. And then we'll add our milk, whichever milk that you are using. I use unsweetened almond milk. And then we're gonna blend that up a little bit and then add the protein. So for whatever reason, and I don't know if y'all have this problem too, but if I add the protein powder at the beginning, it gets stuck to the sides and to the blade of the blender, so I usually add it at the end. And then if you do need to add a little bit of water, um, sometimes I need to add about a fourth cup of water here. And then we're gonna blend this until smooth. So since we're on the subject of finding your beat in this video, um, I did want to ask y'all if there is something that you're struggling with, let me know in the comments below. Um, and there might be a video about it soon. I'm kind of um, planning out some things. So let me know in the comments below if there's something that you want to see. So we're going to be blending this up and check out how, how smooth that is. Look how thick that is. Yum. So we're going to blend that until smooth. The, uh, the title of this recipe, Blueberry Crumble, actually came from my husband. He tasted it and said that, it's, that it tasted like a blueberry crumble muffin. Um, in just a moment, I am going to be showing the recipe up on the screen. So if you're watching this on your phone, you can screenshot it. Okay, so we are adding frozen zucchini. If you have not used zucchini in a smoothie recipe, uh, try it out. It does not add a lot of flavor to it and it thickens it. Um, so then we're gonna add some iced coffee and then whatever milk that you use and then some peanut butter, creamy peanut butter. You can also use almond butter or uh, sunflower butter and then some cocoa powder and we're going to blend that up and then add the protein powder just like the other one and then check out how smooth this is it's almost like it almost looks like mousse y'all and just like with the other recipe the recipe card will be up on the screen in just a moment if you want to snapshot it Okay, so for this one, this one's gonna be a little bit thinner. Um, so there's coconut water, and my coconut water had little bits of coconut in it, and that's fine. And then we're gonna add in our milk, and then our frozen fruit. Um, and this one, this one I had uh, recorded in the winter, so it was harder for me to get fresh fruit. For this one, I do actually like having fresh mango and pineapple. Um, it adds a little bit more flavor than the frozen fruit does, but it works with the frozen too. Um, and then we're gonna add chia seeds for our healthy fats, and then blend this up. Um, this one is gonna be a little bit thinner, but you don't wanna make it too far ahead 
um, because the chia seeds will start to make it a little gelatinous so um, it does eventually thicken after you've blended it but you don't want to wait too long so you can see it's a little bit thinner but it'll thicken up the longer that sits and like the others the recipe card for this will be shown on the screen in just a minute All right, thank y'all for watching. The recipes for the banana free smoothies are um, linked below and they're on the blog. Um, you can always follow me on Instagram and my blog, A Different Beat. I will be showing that in just a minute. Um, I also wanted to announce something. So I'm gonna be starting a Find Your Beat series. Um, and they will be specific to different needs um, that people might have. So whether that's that they're dairy free or um, they're needed to be grain free or low carb, things like that. I'm gonna be posting specifically a little bit more um, about finding your beat. So the first video is gonna be coming up at the end of March, so just in a few weeks. So if you haven't already, click the subscribe button below and it will pop up into your feed as soon as it posts. So um, as always, keep finding your beat and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Banana, 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 banana.